Eiffel. Blond, blond, blond. James Elder for I from London. I'm at York Hall Bethnal Green for the Steve Goodwin Show. Fighting on the show, I've got Ian Lewis, and heavyweight boxer. How are you, Ian? Yeah, I'm good, man, I'm good. Just, just witnessed your first fight back in the ring since November. A very tricky opponent, very durable, guy called Brzezinski. How do you think it went, eh? No, in all honesty, I think it went relatively well in the fact that if I had more fights where I weren't out for nine months, I would have stopped him. But where the, inact the inactivity played a part, I weren't able to pick the pace up, drop it, pick it up and drop it. Just down to not getting the rounds in there. Do you think the nine months you've been out in the ring, it kind of took you that little bit, a couple of rounds to find your rhythm, find your groove? I wouldn't say it took me in time to time my rhythm. It, all it done was just took away from being able to pick up the pace, drop the pace, pick up the pace, drop the pace. Yeah, the inactivity done that. Some lovely right hands to the body you caught him with. That was one hell of a shot you've got there, Ian. Yeah, no, because I saw when I went in there, he was hard to hit to the head. He was covering up his head, so I thought to myself, avoid going to the head, just work the body, work the body because he held a really high guard, so I just worked the body instead. What's the long-term plan? What are you guys doing? Are you slowly building up the wins and working your way to maybe a British title shot, Ian? Is that the plan? Yeah, the, well, the ultimate plan at the end of the day would obviously be a world title, but here and now, we're looking to get the rounds in there, get opponents, move towards whatever title, Southern era, British, whatever it may be. Yeah. Well, listen, it's good to finally see you back in the ring. And no, I've, had, I've seen and had the pleasure of being around Ian for a little while, and. I've been looking forward to seeing him fight for a long time and he certainly delivered tonight. Oh, thank you, thank you, yeah. Honestly, I thought I fought all right. It weren't like my best, but I'm just happy to get the fight out of the way and cut the ring inactivity. Good to see so many people from Brixton, South London here as well today. Have you got a message for all your fans at Brixton at home? Yeah, everyone who came out support me, thank you. If you didn't come support me and you watched me and you liked what you saw, well, thank you anyway. Hope you come to my next fight. One thing I want to ask, was that not the bizarrest entrance for a fighter? I've ever seen. I was surprised myself, but I just let it happen. Was that planned? Not that I, not to my knowledge. I knew there was going to be some sort of. Listen, just, just yeah. for those that don't know at home, I don't know if the show is televised. There was about seven or eight cowgirls, all banging, all coming in with him, ring girls. So yeah, it was kind of a good entrance. Very different, very positive. Yeah, like I said, it was something that just happened. I just went with it. <laughs> well, Ian, I want to thank you, sir, for your time as always, and um, best of luck with your career and what you're doing. And I'll catch you again real soon. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank James you. James Holder with Ian Lewison for iFilm London.